Imagine that you are traveling around the world and you have a team of people that you're working with and they also live all over the world. Everyone's working together and the customers and clients that you serve can connect to you easily as if you were a company local to them. We now live in a world that allows us to do this, to work from anywhere with anyone, no matter where we are. You may have heard the term digital nomad or geographically dispersed team or virtual teams. These all refer to our ability to not be bound by a specific place or a time zone when we're working. We can now collaborate globally anywhere, any place, any time. This new way of working is really fantastic for people that want to be able to explore the world while still working on projects together, or maybe you have a special skill that you need and the people with that unique skill and talent don't live near you, they're not in the same physical location as you are, or maybe you want to live in a place that's closer to family or closer to things that you're interested in. Well, being a digital nomad means you have the freedom to work from anywhere in the world, coupled with the rise of distributed companies where teams are spread across several different locations. This is really a great new way to work. But to make this work, you need to have the right tools. Here are some tools that you're going to need in order to make this lifestyle a reality. And remarkably, these tools are very, very easy to set up. They're very easy to use and once you set them up, which will take very little time, you'll actually be able to appear as a large international company to your customers and clients. First, let's take a look at setting up our voice and our call center services, our digital PBX or private branch exchange. For this, my favorite tool is 3CX cloud-based communications. Uh, it's the tool that I use and they're also helping this channel by sponsoring out this video. 3CX is a cloud-based communication platform. It's also known as a PBX or private branch exchange, which means that you're able to control all of the voice coming into your system and where that voice call goes, as well as messages and such as well. You can manage your team's communication all through a cloud-based interface. And then what you can do is you can say, okay, a call comes in at three o'clock in the morning in North America. You could route that call to somebody who's awake in another part of the world. It allows you to manage your phone system through the cloud-based tools that they provide. 3CX gives you the ability to work with phone calls, set up private extensions, do video conferencing, and even live chat from, from anywhere. Well, you're still maintaining that single cohesive communication system that your customers interact with. So they just see themselves as interacting with your company, not really knowing or caring where that actual voice call is going because you can manage the extension across time zones, making sure that the right call gets to the right person, reaches the right person on your team. 3CX also will allow you to maintain your communication with your team and your customers no matter where you are. So you could set it up to have phone numbers that are local to different cities around the world and they can all be directed to that single system. So somebody can pick up a phone and dial a New York number, another person can dial a number from Toronto, another person can dial a number from Los Angeles, and all of those numbers go into your single communication system and then are distributed out to where they need to go. It can make a small company, even a solopreneur, an individual, look like a large professional international business. So I'm a pretty big fan for the, of, of the tool. It's also great for larger companies. So if you're actually a large company, it's really useful because you can onboard new resources really easily. You can instantly set them up, you can manage them centrally, and you can put a ton of different features onto the phone communication system. You know, I have videos here on the channel where I go into more depth on 3CX, so I'll make sure I link those down below. But 3CX really forms the backbone of building a distributed communication system for a virtual team or a virtual company and still allow you to interact with it as a single system. The second service that goes hand in hand with 3CX is a way to get your phone numbers assigned to you. So one of my favorite phone number providers is called VoIP.ms. Again, I'll link down below and I do have videos on setting that up as well. And VoIP.ms allows you to select phone number locals uh, to, and you get, can put them local to a geographic location and then set them up to go to your 3CX. So the idea is that you'll provision yourself a phone number 
Anybody dialing that phone number will go exactly where you want them to go through cloud-based voice over IP and you'll be able to get them to where they need to go. So VoIP.ms is a complement to 3CX and the two together provide you that entire communication system. It means that you can receive a phone call through an app for a client app on a mobile device, a computer, even a tablet as long as you have internet connections. So getting your phone number through the VoIP MS service can save you a ton of money as well over traditional mobile services because you can buy a plan that gives you the phone number and you can use credits for that phone number that are much less expensive than having to buy mobile phone plans all over the, the world. So as long as you have internet connectivity, you can also have your voice communication. Now a third tool that you're going to want to have to build your virtual company will be a collaboration platform such as Microsoft Teams. There's also Slack and some other tools out there, but I really like Microsoft Teams because it'll allow you to set up channels for different conversations and you can share information in those channels, uh, such as documents, you can schedule meetings, you can even have a lot of different file service sharing uh, app applications in there. So if you have documents that you need to share, that acts as a great repository for that. Uh, you could use another service like a cloud-based storage service like sync.com. Again, everything linked down below, but that would just be for file management. Um, and just before we take a look at the final tool, the, the fourth tool that we're going to look at, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any videos and how we can use technology to learn and teach and be more productive. Now, you might also want to make sure once you have your voice system set up, once you have your phone numbers assigned, once you have a file sharing collaborative platform like Microsoft Teams or Sync.com, you will, you'll need some sort of project management software to keep track of all of the different tasks that you have for your team. So a tool such as Trello can be very helpful for this. Trello gives you the ability to organize all your tasks and collaborate with other team members on the progress of those projects from anywhere. Again, it's cloud-based. So there's a few different project management tools out there. Trello's kind of nice because it's got a really nice interface. If you are using the Teams platform, you could use Microsoft Planner, but you'll need some sort of project management software to keep, ta uh, keep track of all your tasks, your planning and your project management. So with just these few tools, 3CX, VoIP.ms to get phone numbers, Microsoft Teams or Sync.com for file sharing, and then a project management tool such as Trello, you've really got that single connected business that you can build in order to create a, a cloud service uh, business where you have this virtual team and you can build this in a couple hours or less. In the description below, I'll have detailed videos as well on setting up most of these tools and I'll link to those videos where I go through how to set up each of them individually step by step but those four tools are going to allow you to have a company that's global in scope, but also organized as one single business so you can manage and live that digital nomad lifestyle. Once you're set up, everybody on your team can work from anywhere, anywhere in the world that has internet connectivity without missing a beat and make sure that you're serving your customers and your clients and taking advantage of the unique skills that are all over the world. It can be done at a very low setup cost. In fact, many of the tools start out for free up to a certain number of users. They're heavily discounted at the very least for small teams and individuals. So you get to try them out, you get to test them out, you get to see for yourself just how easy it is to become that digital nomad, to have that virtual team. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Check out some of the other videos on the channel and don't forget to check out the detailed videos on how to set up these services so that you can be a digital nomad.